Hey guys, Chris here from C and D Productive, uh, and I'm here with part three of the Minecraft cluster. So so far we got the boom dog, and we have the S's and the creeper face. So now I'm going to be showing you the explosion effect, and that's what you're going to need. White. You can use gray with it too. Uh, just do two layers. I will be showing you how to do that. Maybe in the next video, but um, yeah, we're just gonna do white for now. If we have time, I will be doing the normal, old-fashioned gray with it. So you want to cut this out, or uh, yeah, cut a strip about seven inches now, nine inches, my bad. So. I'm going to cut it out nine and a half inches because nine and a half inches will give us a little more to work with because we are going to be making kind of like a separate page for this, separate page in duct tape. And you're going to want to do about three strips of these. So let's get this up. So make sure that all these are the same length because different lengths will screw up your effect and it won't look like a very well known boom effect. It will look like a piece of garbage that was eaten by a seagull, pooped out, and then probably thrown inside of a furnace. So let's get this here. Put the wheel up here. And cut it one side. Yeah, yeah. Right. So let's do one more strip, but uh, this one we're only gonna go up to four inches. So we'll have a little more to work with, but it won't be too much. So we got it here. Go all the way to the end. Make sure it's straight. Ouch! That hurts. Man, I gotta get a bigger desk or workspace or something. Alright, so now we got this. So, what we want to do now, believe it or not, um, we want to put boom on here. So, I'm going to put it kind of like a rounded boom. I'm not going to do a simple straight up boom. So, you can see, I got this here. So you can see that it just fits it. So um, we might need to add a little more if we need to. But uh, for the boom effect, actually we'll add a little more before we start the boom effect. So let's take this up. Oh. Okay, let's take this up from the bottom. There we go. So we want to flip this over. Pick up. Piece of duct tape again, nine and a half inches. Oh, wait, I hate when that happens. So, we'll just put this up at the cluster for now until we get this set up. So, nine and a half inches, like I said. Okay, half there, and cut it. Uh, it's just a piece of paper. I'm scared of shit right now. Okay, so you want to make another strip, nine and a half inches, and make sure that it is lined perfectly. So now that we got that, we can take our boom here. This will be a little big for the poster. But uh, that's okay because it can come off if you need it to. Um, like I said, I go overboard sometimes. But uh, this video uh, looks like I'm going a little too overboard. So I need to take a piece out of duct tape. Sorry, stuttering again. And align it with this here. So it gets a little higher up. 
so we can cut out the bone set. And this will come off the paper or uh, poster. So, uh, uh, all right. So we got the white here. So now what you want to do, you want to cut out some triangles. That's it. Just kind of all different shapes, sizes. can see I got this going pretty well so far. Now you want to do tiny ones, big ones, medium ones, just make sure they're all arranged just so it looks like a boom. Because if you have it just uh, in a pattern, it won't work just will not work. So we're almost finished here. So once you get this close you just kind of want to Make sure you get one uh, triangle that matches up with the one you started with. So I'm just going to start off at the beginning again and match it up with the tiny one. Alright, so we have the boom done. Uh, what we want to do now is slowly and carefully take off the duct tape because if you screw this up, it will go haywire. And you will probably lose your project. So I'm going to cut it off in sections and take it off from there. So it will be easier to take off. And I have a lesser chance of ripping anything or getting anything destroyed like I just did there. Um, so cut this down. Almost cut my finger off. That's perfect. I love cutting my fingers off. It's awesome. Of being emo on YouTube. Just so cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna share. Take it off and Alright, and uh another thing here, uh the gray, uh you don't have to add it, but um I wouldn't recommend it either. But uh, if you like other colors in your boom, you can do that. I'll just call it the effects for now because the boom doesn't really make any sense. So if you like it in your effect, then put two. I just kind of like it one color, two color. I don't like a huge array of it. So let's get the rest of these taken out. And we can add it to our poster, and I'll show you guys what to do to uh, fix it up. Just, I can just kind of take it off without trimming, right? Oh, this. Yes, haha. -ha. Okay, so our boom is done. So now you want to carefully lift it, starting at the bottom, and just kind of bring it up. So you can see, boom. So we want to take our poster back and place it. Oh, oh, oh. Duct tape. Okay. Okay. And we want to place it just on the poster. Somewhere. Somehow. Um, <laughs> I have a small poster for such a big boom. Okay, so you see here that boom is on. Oh, 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 um, oh, here it's still a little bit so you guys can see. See? It's there. Somewhat. But uh, the boom here, 
if we are going to position, oh, 10 minutes, we are going to position uh, more towards reading area instead of parallel, or uh, horizontal, or, yeah, parallel, not bad. Okay, so, tickets, is it right? Okay, you want you want to take up as much room as possible. The S's are kind of in the way. So uh, if the S's are in the way, you can take off the S's. Don't open the boom. Looks like only one S was in the way. So I gotta do an S there. Okay, so you can see the boom is done, and you can see there is some sticky side here. So what you want to do with that, um, take a piece of duct tape, uh, again just use white, and uh, first you want to trim it. So you are going to want to tape down that sticky side on your poster. So stick it down. Okay. Sorry, I'm padding really gay. Okay. So you want to take a piece and just kind of cut it. And flip this over here. And simple as taking it on. So now once it tapes on, you won't have the sticky side here, and you can just trim it. So uh, this is almost a finished product. Um, there will be, in the next tutorial, I'll show the finished products, but this is how you make a creeper poster, Minecraft poster, out of duct tape. So, Again, don't blame me, blame the technology. Hit that subscribe button, help us out a lot, and I'll see you guys later.